Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone is doing well today. Today we are taking a look at Rutherford's gold foil experiment. So to start this simulation, I want to talk a little bit about the experiment that Rutherford created in 1919. So to start, he has this thin piece of gold foil in the center. So think about aluminum foil, just instead of being made out of aluminum, this time it's made out of gold. Around this piece of gold foil, he has a circular fluorescent screen. So when I say the word fluorescent, most people think about like fluorescent lights. And if you're thinking about that, you are right in this case. Um, this screen is made out of a similar material. So when a little particle strikes the screen, it lights up. And then we can see where the particle collided and what happens when we shot a particle at this piece of gold foil. So that's the next part of this experiment, is uh, Rutherford was shooting alpha particles at this piece of gold foil. So one thing that is hard to read is this symbol. That symbol means alpha. So we have alpha particles. One thing that's worth noting is alpha particles are made out of two protons and two neutrons. So this means that we have a positive two charge and overall our alpha particles are positive. That'll be really helpful when you're thinking about some of these questions later in the simulation. Um, so knowing that the alpha particles are positive that will be a key component. Um, one thing that you can think about that might help you answer a few of these questions is think about magnets. What happens when we put two positively charged magnets together or two negatively charged magnets together? What do they try to do? Do they stick together or do they repel? Answering that question will help you um, with the rest of the simulation. So right now we can take a look at this simulation and we can talk about a few things. The first thing that I want to talk about is so this square right here that I'm kind of highlighting with the mouse. That is your piece of gold foil. Um, so then we do exactly what Rutherford did, is we are going to start shooting alpha particles at that piece of gold foil. We start the alpha particles by clicking the alpha particles button, and then we watch what happens. One thing that's worth doing is clicking the traces. That way you can see the trace of each particle. And then over here, where it says atoms, protons, and neutrons, this is where we can change the amount of protons and the amount of neutrons that appears in each of our models. Um, and then we'll make inferences from there. Um, the big difference between this simulation and Rutherford simulation is we don't have the fluorescent screen to watch the trajectory of the alpha particles that we shoot with the gold foil. Instead, we're kind of doing this like bird's eye view because we know what's going to happen. Um, so use this to help you work through the simulations, um, answer the questions, try your best. Um, like always, if you have a question, please write it down and bring it to class. Like always, I try to end these with a joke. What do you call it when Batman skips church? Christian Bell. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I'll see you next class. Bye.